Hi, it's James Mitchell. Here's another video on workshop software. I really hope you get some great value from it and you enjoy it. All the best. Hello, welcome to this video about a brand new feature that's in workshop software. What this feature allows you to do is to create an integration from workshop software into one of the world's most popular CRM systems called MailChimp. Now, if you're not familiar with MailChimp, all you need to do is go to MailChimp, that's M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com, which is this site that I'm on right now. Click on sign up for free. Uh, basically, you can sign up an account for free uh, it, unless you've got uh, you know lots and lots of customers and things like that, certain uh, levels, you will be able to use this uh, for free in your business to do management of your customers, to do things like send out emails, uh, do campaigns. Uh, all of those sorts of things and MailChimp's a really popular application for doing that. So if you've not already got an account with MailChimp, simply go to MailChimp.com, click on sign up for free, enter in your details and away you go. It, that's all pretty much straightforward. I've already done that and I've got an account. So what I want to do, you need to do first, is you need to go into this option here which is create a list. Okay, so I've already created a list but you need to go in and create a list first up. So if I go into my lists here, you'll see that I've got this list and I've called it customers. And if I click on it, I wanna show you the details that I've got in here already. Now there's one important thing that you need to do when you first set this up. And you need to go under settings and you need to go into the list fields and the merge tags. What this allows you to do is to create the fields that come across from workshop software because by default, basically MailChimp just puts the email addresses as fields. So you need to add the additional fields into the system. So if you click on here, basically what you need to do is you need to add in all of these, well, as many as you want. You don't have to add them all in. If you don't want to, it'll work perfectly fine. It just depends on how much information you want it to come across. But it'll support all of these different fields as they are listed here. So if you just... I'll leave that up on the screen for a moment. So basically, this name, you can call it anything you like. So for example, I've got registration here. If you wanted to call it license plate, uh, if you wanted to call that rego, something like that, that's absolutely fine. You can call that whatever you like. This column here, this is the name. These names have to be worded exactly like this, as, do, as does this third column here. So these two columns need to be these particular uh, names. And in workshop software, we would go look for this name, and then we populate that with the appropriate piece of data. So they should be fairly straightforward. Straightforward, first name, last name, address one, address two, suburb state, postcode. Of course, postcode could be called zip code if you like. Um, mobile phone, although if you do call it zip, you still need to call this postcode, right? So you can call this whatever you like, but um, you, you need to call this field postcode. Uh, phone, rego, make model, registration renewal date, the next service date. And if you're in New Zealand, uh, there's the WAF renew the warrant of fitness date uh, which needs to be worded as WAF renew when you come in here you will have no uh, fields in here at all so what you need to do is just come here and go add a field all of these fields are set up as text fields so we just go text and then in just a moment it'll come up with this new field so you write in whatever the new field is going to be so let's just say pretend for a second we're adding in make we come across here we put in make and we come across here and we put in make, okay? Once we've done that, we go save the changes, that field will be added, or you can add multiple fields at once, and then once you finish, you can go save the changes, and then all your fields are in here. So this allows you to set the system up. I only need to do this once, it'll take you about 10 minutes to set up, it's fairly straightforward, uh, as long as you just get those names right, it's not a, a really arduous task, so you should be able to do that quite easily. So that's what you need to do first up within MailChimp. The next thing you do, and I'm just going to not save that, I'm just going to go back into my customers, is we go, I'm going to jump into workshop software now. So in workshop software, down the left-hand side on the menu, you've got integrations. And under integrations, we've got a number of different ones, including our accounting integrations and our automotive integrations, but we've also got MailChimp. So what you need to do now is if you click on authorize, it will now pop up the MailChimp username and password, so you enter in those details, you go on log in, and basically this just takes a moment and it's done, 
right? Now what we need to do is if we go and choose a list and we go sync customers, that will then go off and sync our customers and away we go. What we now need to do, that'll just take a moment to do, it's synced all my customers over now. It says it allow one, one up to one hour for MailChimp to process it. To be honest, my experience is that it takes a lot lot less than that. Usually only takes a few minutes, to be honest. Um, but it depends on the load of what's going on on the MailChimp servers. Um, but now, basically, that's already synced. If we go into customers, for example, and we change something in here, that will automatically get synced. So you don't need to resync it. It'll just, once you've authorized it and it's now synced, it'll automatically sync. So if we go over now into back into MailChimp, you'll actually notice that all the customers are in there. And what this has done is if I open up a customer, what this has done now is it's brought across all of this guy's details. So, you know, first name, last name, address, suburb, state and postcode and so on. Um, and all of the other information that is, you know, the next service, for example, you know, make a model of the vehicle, that sort of information has automatically come across to MailChimp now. So what you can do in MailChimp is you can do things like uh, set up campaigns, you can set up emails out to everybody, uh, you could send out Christmas messages for argument's sake, you could do all sorts of different types of uh, customer sort of management within MailChimp and the information that you add into workshop software will automatically sync over to MailChimp. So it gives you that flexibility to be able to communicate with your customers any way you want, which is really cool. So uh, as I said in the beginning, MailChimp is one of the world's most popular CRM systems. It's a really powerful system for doing campaigns, sending out letters, for doing all sorts of different things. Uh, there's heaps of resources online if you want to find out more information about MailChimp or you need help or anything like that. There's a lot of information about it, go check it all out and I'm sure that this integration will really help you with how you relate to your customers if you wanted to do some special campaigns that are not campaigns that aren't already supported in workshop software. So for example, in workshop software, you can do service reminders, you can do uh, Rego and Warren of Fitness reminders and, and MOT reminders in, in England, for example. Um, but if you wanted to do something other than those sorts of uh, communications with your customers, then MailChimp's the system that you can use. So again, hope you find this really valuable. Uh, proud to be able to bring this sort of new stuff to you. And uh, it's a way that we believe that you can make your business even better. Hope you love it. Bye.